Let me take you back to the spring. Spring, our pollens are trees, oak, ash, and elm. And then as we head through the summer, it just becomes, you know, everything just scorches. So really, the grass is the only thing that's left. Then we hit the fall, where we've been in recently. Of course, if you're a ragweed sufferer, you know about the ragweed, and we can have some trees during the fall. The ragweed season ends when we have our first decent freeze, and I believe that's happened. We had a good freeze, uh, not last night, but the night before, and then some places had a freeze last night as well. That ragweed count really going to go down going forward. So. I think we're kind of getting out of ragweed season here, but the problem is we're about to move into mountain cedar season and mountain cedars gets blown up to us mainly from the Texas Hill Country, although there is some of it in parts of North Texas as well, especially across the western and southwestern portions of North Texas. As I mentioned, it mainly grows in the hill country, but a decent south breeze starts to move that up our way. It peaks a couple months from now, it peaks in mid January and then starts to taper off late February into March. But basically between now and kind of that February, March time frame is mountain cedar season. And anytime we have a decent south breeze, it brings us right. It brings it right up into North Texas. That south breeze will be out there the next couple days, but it's also going to help bring moisture back into North Texas, set the stage for some rainfall chances on Thursday. Things are going to be quiet tonight. Things are going to be quiet tomorrow. Just some passing clouds will be out there, but then by Thursday morning you'll see an uptick in some showers out there. Maybe a little shower activity to start the day. Some showers and storms possible noon, 3, 4, 5 o'clock, especially from DFW to the east. I'm not saying it's going to rain constantly or all day long, but there will be some rounds of showers and storms out there. I think more so kind of in the morning to maybe early to mid-afternoon hours, and then kind of later in the day that we get that cold front moves through, clears everything out. We should be dry by the time we head into Friday. The way it looks now, severe weather threat, south Southeast of North Texas, mainly you know, College Station, Houston, Beaumont. It might get moved a little bit farther north. You know, I could see this green shade, which is that one on a scale of five. We call that a marginal risk. I could see that getting nudged up maybe into the Waco, Corsicana, Athens, Tyler area. We'll keep an eye on that as we move through the next 24 hours before all this moves in on Thursday. But right now, I don't have a significant severe weather threat for any portion of North Texas. Rainfall totals, it's a quarter to maybe three quarters of an inch, a little higher totals possible for eastern areas and a little lower totals possible to the west. Light winds and chilly tonight above freezing, but it will be chilly to start tomorrow morning 41 and then dry breezy and seasonable 63 will be your high 65 on Thursday and I got an 80% coverage of rain the front that moves through it's not an arctic front so it's not going to you know cool us off with highs you know in the 40s or anything like that. It's just a little cool down on Friday we're in the 60s this weekend uh, we're in the 60s for the first week of December and because we have a 14 day forecast Joe yes. we have multiple Santa's helpers events yes on there Instead of just, you know, one or two, now we can talk about Santa's Helpers events over the next 14 days. And uh, the two next week, the one on Tuesday, that's Frisco Safety Town. The one on Thursday is downtown McKinney. And if you want to look way out two weeks from now, that's a Tuesday in Arlington at Don Davis Auto. It's that time of year.